Uh, what's up, Internet? Hey, guys. We're back for whatever number we're on right now, and we're going to talk about something that hits home with Derek is Survivor's Guild and how he kind of put me in perspective on a sidebar conversation. I'm just going to let you go on this. Um, well, let's let's do a little background story. Like, what you talked about is... Um... So, so I'll talk about... Uh, so, I had a lot of issues from the for my first and second deployment of coming back home and seeing guys not making back, coming back, you know, without their all their appendages and limbs. I felt like I didn't do enough. I felt like there's more that I could give for my country and to my to mainly to my brothers that they're still there. You know, like Christmas, Thanksgiving were the worst time for me. Um, especially uh, after my first appointment and fuck, after my second appointment and my family can notice and they didn't really see change until about uh, I'm gonna say 2013. Um, I just had guilt of there's guys over there doing more uh, and I'm not doing enough and I've kind of already I checked out and again you're talking about last video of like guys getting out like you couldn't you can't comprehend that you can't mm -hmm. fathom it you know and, and this is kind of a compound answer but it's 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 really rampant right now bad leadership bad missions guys the guys do a lot of training have a lot of expectations and they just get let down mm -hmm. so all of that led into um, survivors guilt and I didn't feel like I wanted I, I didn't want to do anymore because I couldn't do anymore so I'm gonna kind of let you take the reins now so my take on survivors guilt and it's not PC survivors guilt Survivor's guilt is a misunderstanding of what war is. You know, like in, in, in my mistakes of youth, I always said, when I was in the army, I always said I would rather go home dead than wounded. And looking back, I'm like, you're an idiot. But, but you, you know, like, yeah. you know, seriously, like, I'd rather go home dead than wounded. You're 19, but now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 19, like, 20. I would rather go home yeah. dead than wounded. But now, like, I'm a wounded veteran and the sun's still rises like air still tastes good water is still wet like the world is good life yeah. is worth living no matter what the circumstances in survivors guild um, i don't know sometimes i think it's i think it's a cop-out i think it's a lie but um first things first like it's a misunderstanding of what war is right and this is it's like i can get in trouble for saying things like this it's a misunderstanding so of disclaimer <laughs> it's it happens so Derek's just tell, telling you his take on it from from all the experiences he's had right so, so, so go ahead there's there's truths but there's truths we believe but we have to unpack those yeah. sometimes and get to the bottom of what we're really feeling like they're like i'm not gonna lie like in 2009 2010 there were nights i would stay awake and cry about um guys i knew that died yeah. but looking back i know like i wasn't that wasn't the real reason i was crying yeah. you know like the real reason i was crying is because like I was just living poorly myself and I lacked purpose like we talked about. So survivor's guilt is a misunderstanding of what war is. Like what is war? War is, you know, you got two sides colliding. Destruction, and, death. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it just like, people it are bad gonna, things. Yeah, people are going to get wounded. People are going to die. And it's not something to pity. It's not something to sympathize over. It's something to be proud about. Like I don't want sympathy. I don't want pity. You know, people tell me. I, I, you know, like at a random gas station, some lady would be like, are you a wounded veteran? I'm like, yes, I am. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm glad you're home. Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm proud. Yeah. And I wish I was still overseas, yeah. you know? I so mean, it's, I mean, I get the point people thank me. I got, I'm to the point now, people around me, I don't say it because it, it, it pisses me off with, and again, I'm going on a tangent right now. People want to thank veterans. People want to thank free service, but they don't want you're to You're mistaken. Hire, you're they, mistaken. They don't want to hire, they don't want to hire <laughs> veterans. And they don't want you know they don't want to give veterans jobs that they are qualified for. So again, like you're saying, they have pity, but they don't have they don't understand what we have done and what we are able to do. Mm -hmm. You know, like you're like I agree and disagree with you there. Like there is a problem. There is a problem. Like so many veterans get mad at people thanking them for their service. Yeah. Like, I don't understand that. Like, people don't know what to say. They don't know what to say. It's an awkward situation. Yeah. Like, they see me, they're like, thank you for your service. Do I'm like, no, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. Like, they, they mean well, they yeah. just don't know what to say. Sure. It's an awkward situation, you know? <laughs> like, you come up to a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so um, I don't, um, I don't know. And, and I wish, I don't know, it's, it gets weird sometimes. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking what you're trying to articulate is you wish the world was different where people can intellectually understand, mm -hmm. but unless they've been there, they can't. 
and they can try to empathize, then they just start to pity. Mm -hmm. And you know, like I saw, you know, like, man, one of the problems is we're so, with social media, like we're, we're so fed PTSD, suicide, yeah. blah, blah, blah. You can't log on. If you search hashtag 22 on Facebook, yeah. you come up with 46 pages of searches. It's too much. It's the cool thing to be. You know, like I used to, um, one of the things I say is, you know, when I was, when I was early in the army, you see a dude at the bar, right? Like back 2003, 2004, something like that. You see a dude at a bar dressed up in his military garb. What is he? He's a Marine sniper. He wasn't a Marine sniper, but that was the cool thing to be. Right. You know what I mean? Now the cool thing to be is to have PTSD TBI. And, and you guys will have signs in the yard yeah, saying PTSD. Yeah, and like, like, dude, you and, went to Kuwait. Or, yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll take that back. There's some guys who've seen some shit in Kuwait, but guys you never <laughs> went overseas and they're, they're fucking, they're playing off of the sympathy card. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, but it's not, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. Like, it's, um, like, the, the reason I brought this up is like I saw this video on Facebook. It was really well done. It talks about how many, um, how much of the population served in World War II. It was some odd, like, you know, it, it was a large percentage, yeah. you know, and then uh, Vietnam, it was a large percentage, but smaller. And then the, 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 the war on terror is 1%. Yeah. It's 1%. So it, like that video is 300 million people. Oh, 300 million people. And but 300 people. That 300, video served. validates yeah. a person's reason for feeling alone. Yeah. Like you're not alone. You're not alone. We all go through everything you're going through right now. Yeah. There is like I can't tell you, like I, I, if there was one thing I could tell every veteran in the world, it's like you're not alone. We all go through it. I can't and I can't go around the corner now without without re recognizing them. Would you? Where were you at overseas? Mm -hmm. I I can't. Yeah. It's, it's very hard. Yeah. It, um, job, gym, whatever it mm -hmm. is. My gym's a little different, but uh, but other gyms, like it's hard not to go over and say, hey, where'd you go? Yeah, and but only it, only we know that. Yeah. Only only we can spot we, we, we had that spider it's, sense. Like this video showed that it's 1% uh, of the population today that has fought in the war on terror. And like it, it messed with me because like I, I was a psychology major in okay. high school. I know it validates people's reasons to feel alone I don't agree with that I don't agree with the rhetoric I don't agree with everything that's like I don't I don't like the shit that validates everybody's reason to fucking feel alone to feel isolated from society you know like it's not the yeah. case I live in society yeah. everybody is nice if you're nice to them you know <laughs> for the most part right yeah, yeah. I mean yeah. you're gonna have you ever had that you yeah. know the person that who's just asshole, yeah. like, oh yeah three hey, percent it's a big world there's a lot of people in it it only makes sense that a lot of them are pieces of shit yeah so <laughs> yeah that's what I say <laughs> which, which is true you know majority of people like the, the kind of people want to work want to work hard mm -hmm. make a living other people want to live with the government mm -hmm. or and or feel like you they are owed something just because because they exist. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you kind of find that too in the military a yeah. little bit, but you know, I'm, I, I don't, I have, I'm not in, have been, <laughs> so I can't say if it's, it's, if it's shrunk or grown or, at all. But Eric, you got anything else you want to add on the subject? No, I just, I don't know. You know, if you ever, um, I do as best as I can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug yeah. myself do you here. Think? Like I do it, I do as best as I can to, to help. And, you know, I'm like, I'm not a trained professional, but I'm a listening ear and I've been through some shit myself personally. And I'm not always comfortable sharing, um, personal, deep, dark secrets yeah. of my character, but I do it to tell you guys that I fucking, I do this shit too. Cause you know, the funny thing about me is like people see me on social media. They don't know who I am. They just see me lifting or something. They're like, Oh wow. That guy has. You know, like nothing stops him. Blah yeah. blah blah. He's superhuman. All he does, is I'm lift. human. All you, all, all you do is lift all the time. Yeah. You hang out with all your friends. Yeah. It's fucking Matt Pettis, like, dude. Yeah. Doing awesome <laughs> videos, making movies. Hi, Matt. <laughs> yeah, like people think I'm superhuman, and I'm not. I am so human, and I, I I do things to be relatable, and it's like I'm I'm here to help. Um, if you ever, you know, like message me on Facebook, message me on Instagram. I always like I do my best to respond, but um. And guys, all of his links will be down below in the com in the um, information section. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I love you guys. Seriously, I'm here to help. I love you. All right, Internet. I'm Tyler Grant with Dynamic Training Strategies. This is Derek. I, I, I keep... I, it's Wida. It's German. E-I makes an I sound. Wida. Derek Wida. Derek Wida. <laughs>
<laughs> from, from Texas, the, the next objective, Article 15 clothing, what, name all the other shit you're with. That's it. All right, sure. cool. all right. I only care about the next objective. The, yeah. All right, guys, <laughs> screw everything else. Derek Wadey with the next objective. Stay safe. Um, if you have any problems, contact uh, Derek uh, and uh, we'll see you on the range.